Hey guys, before you watch this video, subscribe, uh, like this video, comment below if you think this too is correct, and hopefully you enjoy this video, my theory on this, and yeah, I've been making videos a bit regularly, but the dates might change, or not yet, and I'll be moving more onto horror, more horror theories, but Never mind about that, let's just uh, start the video and theorize. Now, information. Before we properly theorize, we need to know the information of this whole video. What information we know, and then we theorize. The basic information in this is that the girl here, wait, I'll just turn down media. Uh, knows back magic. She knows how to. She knows spells. And the part summary in the description of Kipti Fee is that it's about a child. Uh, about a daughter who summons Mo Modo. Different Mo Mogu. I uh, uh, summons the a uh, demon. So that she won't leave the house. And I think this is kind of confirmed that both of them know some kind of magic. She performs a spell. You see? Uh, that she knows back magic. And what I read from a comment, but I'm going to expand on it. I'm not sure the comment, but there were many comments on it, so... About the mother knowing right magic. I think the mother knows back magic. And I think the mother is a witch. What I mean by this. She was going up in a witch house, household. Like she. Her mother was a witch. You know. I think that. But I think. She was losing back magic here. I saw you. She was losing white magic when she was I'm just when she was doing that spell. But uh, I think she was trying to counteract back ma back magic, kind of white magic. She thought white magic would have been stronger than back magic at the moment. But then she kind of got stuck in that spell. Or she didn't see Mordor was time to perfect the spell to banish the Mordor. So what else will I dissect from this video? From this theory video? Where we know the basic information that... If you look at Morgul's design, it's like a board, not a guardian, like a dark answer. And I want to comment on one thing. She says this line here, let me get it, it's very close, I'll just turn it down. Oh. What I'm getting from this is my theory or speculations of the or because there's not that much evidence, but these are just theories. Is that uh the why are they moving? I'm going to think of also. Uh, we're going to try and figure out why she she doesn't want to, to leave the house. I think the family became poor, so the moving, so, so the time to uh, sell off the house and sell, sell off the house, or my other sell off the house, so they would be, so they could afford another house, a small house, and she she is too fond over this house, so. She, so the tire doesn't want to leave. Or oh, my other idea, 
I think, is that the mother is kind of forced out of the house and the child only for a short amount of time to leave the house. What I mean by this is that uh, the mother doesn't mean it's rented, the house, they pay rent. But the landlord decided to kind of kick, give them a short amount of time to pack up the stuff. The mother is almost finished packing up her stuff. But, and then she goes up and then the fence fell in the fiddle. So, I might go... So, so far we know the witches, they perform magic, witchcraft, and they know of symbols. I think the mother was trying to train her daughter to be like a apprentice of her, like a, you know, apprentice. Okay, I'm going to try to show down my speech a tiny bit. But, also, what else do we know? I'm going to turn it down now. We know, we know, yeah, we know basic, we know a lot of information, but let's see if we can spot something new. I want to mention the other thing. I Google the door where for is it's in this video. Okay, ready? you oh it's right there at the side. Now it's coming you will see it better right now. But so far yeah, this Google's the count. No. Okay. Now, we know what... We have an idea on why they're moving. I think she's just too fond over the house. She doesn't want to... She doesn't want to leave the house. This is her first time leaving the house. So, what else can we get from this? We know what... Uh, that they both know magic, I'm not going to repeat it. We know that. What else? So the Ramwood. I don't think they have a father at all. I don't think there's no father. Not so if the father died or kept a wife or happened to the father, but that she's a single mother, we you know that. We, I think the attic was the one place that the mother performed witch captain. Like they practiced magic. It's kind of like hidden. Like I think the mother wanted to practice, um, practice her daughter magic in secret. That's why we see her performing spells. That's why we we see her perform the attic. Let's see if I'm incorrect in saying if it's the attic or not. Oh, it's upstairs. Oh, it's kind of incorrect. Might be the attic or might not. So guys, what what are your ideas on this theory before I say more on my theory? If you guys ever have a theory, you can comment down before, down in the comment section. I'm going to try to spam my theories so that you get more, more good, more better theories. The videos won't be washed out. Also, there'll probably be... It'll be mainly Fridays so, uh, the videos will come out. Or sometimes it'll be once a month. Or like two videos per month. 
not compute we saw, but it was still a main fight days. We also know. Okay, let's get back into the two. We also noticed that the Ainsir or Mogul can shape shift, so he turns into smoke. I think Mogo, I think it's in Vispa. I no, I think only the daughter can see Mogo. The dark answer. What I mean by this is okay, I'll show you what I mean. Right? This scene here. See force focuses but does not notice. Mogo being in the air. I think the daughter was the only one that could see it. But. Uh, the mother sensed the dark persons in the room. That's what I think. And I want to comment one thing. Okay I want to. Look at the daughter. Hand movements. Oh, look at the daughter's hand movements here. The see how it flowers. But I just think that Mogo is invisible. The daughter has complete control over Mogu. See. And look at when she nods her head as she falls down. Look. Just have a look. She falls down like that. Immediately. So I I think as she can kinda contour Mogu or perform the spell. I want to comment another bit, the ending scene. So I go with household. I think it was rented. Looks. I think it was rented but they were forced out. And the mother had no choice. Because she wanted to keep the dark spells hidden. She wanted to keep. She didn't want the ward or the animal to figure out that they were using dark magic. Or any form of magic. The daughter didn't really care about magic. She just likes losing it. And she kind of, yeah, she kind of cares about the whole mood in her mother. And, you know. She just cared a bit more about the home. She didn't want to move because, you know how, some people have different reasons, but I think it was not, not just the magic, but could be like school or fence or something like that. Or she is forced to stay inside her home forever. Not we completely saw. Because of the spell. But looking at the house, it looks a bit ritz. I'm not saying like. Look at, compared to other types of houses, like, look at the pattern and, uh, it doesn't look like a normal house, what I'm saying. That's why I'm getting the idea that they rented the house, and they were kicked out, and she, want, she felt it was her darkest hour, because she was never going to see any of friends again, let's just say they had no Wi-Fi. Or no way to connect with her friends. And she felt that all her friends. Were, she won't be able to communicate to her friends. Or anything. So she felt it was her darkest hour. Because she didn't. She didn't want to. Miss her friends. Or never see them again. She thought she would never see her friends again. So yeah. That's my in-depth. Thoughts of. Mogu. Also, let's point out some more. 
symbolism this time. This is about symbolism. There's a lot of dolls around for this witcher. This seem it seems like the pace for magic. Because both of them know magic. And also I think Mogu is summoned by words here. Yeah, actually, I think she does actually see the answer for a tiny bit, but the the demon, I mean the demon, but can turn invisible. Oh, is that... Okay. So, we discussed a lot about this video. What is... Skip this is a part of the Kip TV monster universe, it's not outside of it. I might do some videos outside of the monster universe. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I was working out other videos in that. And for now, I'm not going to take a break. And if I will be taking another break, I will inform you on... You know, I will inform you. But I have a mission for you guys to do. For all my videos you see. Or for any video you think is the best video. Or worst. I want you to comment your thoughts on that video. Besides the camera quality. The camera quality is kind of shit. Besides the sound and the mic. It's kind of said the mic is. I mean the ideas presented in the video. You can comment down how bad the mic is if you want. Or any suggestions. If you want you can. But yeah if you. Just comment anything you. You can comment random comments. Random or you can comment about, damn, this beat. You can think of any, if you just personally like this video, and f if you like this video very much, or the Cake Man, or so many other videos like this, then my mission for you guys to do is to like the like button, and just to comment that, comment your. I your ideas, your thoughts, anything, down in the comment section. Even if you have nothing, if, even if you just say awesome video or just something like that, I won't mind. So, yeah. The next video will probably be better than this video. This video was a bit worst. I know worsting videos is a bad idea. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out. Peace and have a wonderful day. Peace out.